Australia, like everywhere else, is critical in terms of who gets to the first corner first. This is the parade lap and the conditions are appalling. Well, Max, Canada, very close. A very Canada. close. Canada, A. We've been doing some laps, we've been pumping up for it, getting ready. Yeah. And uh, as usual, there's lots of things to talk about with the news and things, but we had a couple of things that we picked out that were quite interesting. And the first one is the Finnish drivers, Hakkinen and Raikkonen. Uh, well, Hakkinen telling Raikkonen that maybe the move to Ferrari wasn't the best thing in the world. And mate, I've got to say that Nika sitting back there and saying these things, you know, it's all well and good with the McLaren doing well. But that Ferrari was blistering last year. And I just think that Nika maybe should um, think about not saying these things to Kimi and letting Kimi get on with it. Oh, it's a terrific sound bite. Uh, I think you'd agree. Um, I mean, we, we all know that old F1 drivers, aka Villeneuve, are going to be asked their opinions. And when they give them, those opinions are going to be, you know, on a website somewhere and they can be misinterpreted. But, I don't know. What they're going to be accepted or they're not going to be accepted. And there's two schools of thought, I guess, on, on every time a, a, an ex Formula One um, driver uh, comments. Um, I would hazard a guess that uh, Mika wouldn't say anything if um, if Kimi was uh, leading the World Championship and had won you know, mm. three or four races this season. Uh, I'm sure he wouldn't think it was a mistake to go to Ferrari then. Mm. Um, but I, I don't see it as a mistake. I, I still think it's way too early in the season for anyone, let alone um, an ex Formula One driver, to, to turn around and say that it's a mistake. Yeah. Uh, if going to Ferrari is a mistake, then I'm a monkey's uncle. Yeah. Um, and if going to if Alonso going to McLaren wasn't a gamble, you know, everyone said the same, which is true. I mean, you know, this McLaren would certainly weren't winning races. Absolutely. Yeah, and I mean, McLaren had uh, you know two or so years of a, a below par. Uh, car mm. and uh, Kimi went to a yeah. race winning Ferrari team. Right. Hello. And, uh, and you know, uh, the, the two time world champion uh, went from a team that he, he knew very, very well in the car, he, uh, he knew very well to uh, a team that had put out, let, let's face it, basically almost rubbish for the last couple of years. Mm. Uh, big gamble mm. um, and so far paying off. Yeah. Um, so I yeah, I just think it's a little bit premature, especially whether it be um, Mika talking about uh, Kimi or, or Michael talking about um, Kimi. Uh, it's too early to say. Um, I think he's doing, doing a good job under the circumstances. Don't get me wrong, mate. I love it when the uh, retired drivers talk about the current drivers because it always a little, adds a little spice to the mix, you know, when they give their opinions. I mean... Oh, it does. There's plenty of drivers who are... Uh, Eddie Irvine. <laughs> well, he's great for giving his opinions. <laughs> no, he's... <laughs> you know, Long after he's gone, he's still going to put his two cents worth in about driving a Formula One car. Yeah, Formula One. Thanks, though. Eddie. Formula One though is a is a set of place without um, with Eddie because we all need someone to have a giggle at. Although Ralph Schumacher's doing a really good job at that at the moment. Mate, there's, <laughs> there's plenty of comedy things going on, and we have a little. We, we I sure like Eddie though. I like Eddie. Come yeah, on. oh yeah, it's all good. But Eddie, um, Eddie aside, Max, uh, we we saw a comedy piece today that we liked, which was uh, Hakey talking about PK Junior. Doesn't like him, mate. I don't like him. I love these spats. Do you wonder F1 why? F1 spats. Oh, isn't it great? I mean, um, uh, PK Jr.'s made uh, no, no um, he, he hasn't hit the fact that he wants a race seat uh, in 08. Yeah. And uh, he's the current test driver for, uh, for Renault. And uh, I'm sure he's whispering in a lot of people's ears that I could do better than Hakey. Yeah, I'm better. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm better on quicker and faster, and so on and so on and so forth. So it comes as no surprise that uh, that Hakey's going around and said, "I don't really like him." Um, well, let's face it, everyone at Renault is under pressure, and Hakey's trying to relieve a bit of pressure. I think by mm. <laughs> I'm <laughs> tough. I've got balls. By saying that he doesn't like, like someone else in, inside the team, you know, just to make things better inside the team, just start a little another yeah. little spat. But, See that, like Pep. Yeah. And, uh, you know, but it, but it works. I mean, uh, Hakey, I'm afraid you're just going to have to share the love, mate. And the only way you're going to keep your seat next year is if you drive the rails off that car mm. and don't give PK Jr. Uh, a look in. Mm. Um, but with Flav as your, uh, as your boss, who knows, <laughs> who knows what's going to happen? Look, look for synergies, Max. Ah, synergies. You want to find some synergies. All of that. Massive sort of thing. That's bullshit bingo, by the way. Synergies. Love it. <laughs>
Alright guys, well thanks for watching and we appreciate your comments and your emails and stuff. We've had, we've had a few mates, it's been good. We have, it's yeah. been great. Good banter and, mm. uh, and, and good comments you guys as well. Yeah. Uh, just on the point of Canada as well, ah, um, yes, Canada. when we were doing some laps, I just think I should put it out there that I'm now almost as quick as the safety car. Really? Uh, yeah, so Excellent. I'm, I'm really ramping up mm. my pace, so uh, be scared. Max, your laps are insane. Oh, frightening. <laughs> Absolutely frightening. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you next time. All right. Okay. Ciao. Bye. Bye. <laughs>